Now, as you had seen in uh, our previous lectures, that the information that goes around is in clear text. I mean, if anybody captures that information, that is available to be read in the way it is. And for example, if you are uh, sending your passwords, so if the passwords are captured in clear text, anybody who captures it could know your password. So it is prone to something called eavesdropping, which is basically that somebody is trying to listen over the conversation. So in networks, what they have done is they have used something called the encryption. Encryption is basically changing the hum human readable form using some mathematical function. A very basic example or the first time when encryption was used was some uh, something at the time of the Roman emperors mm -hmm. and they used to call it the Caesar cipher. So how it would happen is, so instead of the alphabet A, they would use C, which is the third third uh, alphabet. So the entire message would be coded in such a way where uh, the alphabet they have to use. Suppose they had to write A, B, C, so they will write C, D, E. Mm. So this was one of the earlier ways of uh, using an encryption. So later it started evolving by uh, changing the delta, which is here it was three. So they would use say four or for each communication, they would change just the number of shifts that they have to do and they would just communicate uh, the number. So yeah. that became the secret that they were sharing instead yeah. of the entire key. And uh, even this was prone to leakages, like somebody could leak out what the key was and uh, again the encryption could be broken. Mm. So in the current scenarios, what we see is a very much more complicated uh, forms of encryption. So we have two types of encryptions. One is called the symmetric and the other, other is called asymmetric. Symmetric is the one uh, we saw like in Caesar cipher. Symmetric means your encryption or coding uses the same key and decryption, which is uh, uh, decoding, uses the same key. So it's the symmetric use of keys. Mm. Whereas in asymmetric encryption, what we see is we use a different key for uh, coding it and different uh, key for decoding it. As you said, encryption and decryption. So that was the example that we saw in Aditi and Balraj's case. Along with encryption, public-private key pair or what we just uh, saw, the two key pairs as, and, as you were talking about the public part and the private part. So this can also be used to authenticate. We'll uh, be looking at these three terms called uh, confidentiality, integrity and availability. These are the three key terms of what security is about. And there we will see how this uh, encryption and a few other uh, techniques can uh, be used to achieve those. And along with this, we could also use a hybrid method, which is like we can use asymmetric and symmetric. So that could be in a way that if you were to send the symmetric key earlier that we were sending, which was prone to eavesdropping. Mm -hmm. So what we could do is send the key using the asymmetric encryption mm -hmm. and then the major of the, the majority of the communication could happen using a symmetric. And why to do so? Because symmetric encryption is something which is uh, not that process in, in uh, intensive as compared to asymmetric. So you could just send the key by uh, asymmetric and we could uh, have the communication in a symmetric, uh, symmetric uh, encryption.